Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. We're going to be diving deep into this reading to see the messages that you need to know at this moment in time. As usual, it is important to remember that these videos are generalized. So do take what is resonating with you. Leave behind anything that is not resonating with you. Because someone else who's watching this reading, they're going to find that message resonating with them. At the bottom of the deck of what you're currently not seeing at the moment, you're receiving the energies of the Six of Wands. The Divine is saying that you're currently not seeing that it is time to claim center stage. It is time to step into the spotlight. It is time to get celebrated. It is time for you to understand your value and to understand that other people are going to be appreciating what it is that you're bringing to the table. So there's a message that is here about you stopping playing small. Because when it is time to step up, the divine is saying it is important to share your light. Because by sharing your light, you encourage other people to also step up and also start sharing their light too. So this is what you're currently not seeing at the moment, that you are going to be celebrated. You are going to be seen, you are going to be heard, and you are going to be appreciated. So if you're currently thinking maybe of starting your own YouTube channel, if you're currently thinking of starting the business, if you're currently thinking of starting the thing, the divine is saying that this is the perfect time to do so. The time is divine to start stepping up and to start creating something that is going to be seeing you being celebrated for the gifts, for the talents, for what it is that you are bringing to the table. Yeah. We're going to be getting another set of tarot cards to see how they are wanting to elaborate on the message. As I'm getting your cards for you, I always take this opportunity to remind you of the candle magic ceremonies that we are going to be doing next. We have our super moon that is going to be happening on the 3rd of July. Super moons are quite rare. So it is important for you to understand that the ceremony that we are going to be doing is connected to our energy of manifesting. It is connected to our energy of showing gratitude to the divine. So if you're wanting to be part of this powerful candle magic ceremony, go in the description box below, which will take you to my website. Go to my website and have a look at that ceremony. Reserve your place. And then remember to write your petition about what it is that you're wanting me to pray about. And then once you've written your petition, do send it to me. And then me, my guides, my ancestors, the guardian angels that I work with will be coming together and we'll be doing our prayers. We'll be doing what we, what we need to do in the background. Okay. So our tarot cards that we have at the moment, this is what you need to know at this present moment in time. The card at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. Interesting, because remember the card that you received was the Six of Wands. What you're currently not seeing at the moment, and now the Divine is saying to you that what you're currently needing to know at this moment in time, like I told you already, it feels like divine timing. It feels like a fated event is wanting to start up in your life. And the Ace of Wands is a new beginning, a new beginning that is going to be taking you all the way to the energies of the Six of Wands. So the Divine is saying there's an opportunity for some of you that is coming in. For some of you, you already know what it is that you need to do. Go and do the thing. Go and start that new beginning. Go and take this magic wand that is here and go and do whatever it is that you need to do because you are going to be seeing that things are going to start growing. They're going to start manifesting. They're going to be starting to show up in your life so much so that you can now see that you still have the wand that is here and now you're being celebrated. Now you're being seen. Now you're being heard. So the energies that are here, when we're looking at the six of wands, this is like the warrior that goes to war and comes back being vindicated, comes back being celebrated. So for some of you, maybe you're wanting to move to the city. Go and move to the city. For some of you, you are wanting to move away from the city into the mountains, into the villages. Go and do the thing that feels right to you because there you're going to be finding your opportunities. There you're going to be seeing that life starts flowing in a way that feels easy. So the divine is saying that you are going to be stepping into the ebb and flow of life where life just feels like things are just there at the right place at the right time. You are there at the right place at the right time for opportunities to start flowing into your life. So I truly hope that you're 
understanding this message on a deep level so much so that you're starting to understand what this message is all about because the divine is saying that for some of you you're currently at a crossroad you're here thinking about what it is that you want but the divine wants you to understand that daydreaming alone is not enough the page of cups is very good at daydreaming and it is good sometimes to really ask yourself what it is that you want and to get clear on your vision. So daydreaming plays a part. But at some point, you have to get up and you have to step into the energies of the chariot. The chariot, we're now seeing you here taking action. The chariot, we're now seeing you here being proactive, having movement, doing the thing. And because you stood up and because you went and you were brave, you're seeing that the chariot is bringing an energy of swift, fast victory. Okay, so the divine is wanting you to understand that the chariot's victory is determined by how prepared he is. So the divine is saying it is important for you to prepare. It is important for you to understand what you love. It is important to do all that so that when you get to the energies of taking action, you are knowing your why. You are knowing your reason of going to war. You are knowing your reason of doing the things that you're doing. So understand that you receive the energies of the number six that is here. The chariot is number seven. Okay. And both of the six of wands and the chariot, these are our warriors. Okay. So the six of wands, you are that warrior who's stepping up, who's doing the thing, even though you might be afraid, even though people might be challenging you. Okay. You might have an opposition that people are just not seeing the vision, the journey, why you are doing the things that you're wanting to do. But deep down in your heart and in your soul, there is just this passion. There is just this fire that you feel that every time that you're not stepping up, you're betraying yourself. Every time that you're not stepping up, you are selling yourself short. So much so that you get up and you start doing the thing. And because you do the thing, the chariot card brings that energy of luck. Because it's a number seven, right? So lucky number seven is here. So you're going to be seeing that, like I said already, you're at the right place at the right time. And because of that, the chariot has strategy. So you have strategy, you have a plan, but the divine is saying that even though you have a plan, even though you have strategy, even though you have a vision of how things are going to be going, it is important to also allow the divine to surprise you, to allow the divine to sprinkle some magic on your plan. So I really love the energies that are here, that at the beginning, you're not able to see that there's victory that is waiting for you. So you took some time, you sat down, you thought about things, you asked yourself your reasons why you are wanting to do whatever it is that feels right to you. And you're feeling inspired, you're feeling excited, but at the same time, you're understanding that you cannot daydream forever. And now because you're feeling excited, now because you're feeling inspired, you get up and you go and take the action that you need to take. And this is leading to victory. Okay, so the divine is saying to you that you are on this journey that is here. Okay, at this present moment in time, you're still weighing out your pros and your cons. And it is important for you to activate this major kind of card of the Hermit card. The Hermit card is asking you to really look at everything that you want. To really look and to ask yourself those important questions. This is you going within the page of cups. Here, you're sort of like on the surface level, and then you are thinking, you are visualizing, you're feeling, but the divine is saying that it is also important to activate the hermit card because this is connected to spirituality. So the answers that you need are already within you. And so the divine is saying it is important to get quiet. It is important to silence your thoughts. It is important to just be out in nature because when you're out in nature, guess what's going to happen? You are going to have a clear vision of what it is that you need to do. You're going to have that clarity, not only mentally, spiritually, but also on a subconscious level of the action that you need to take. So I really like that our hermit is looking at our chariot, right? And there's this light that is there. There's this fire that is there. And the divine is saying the fire, the light that is within you is going to be helping you, is going to be assisting you. So what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at our next set of tarot cards. We had the ace of wands of what you need to know right now. And the divine was giving you that magic wand. 
you're now accepting that magic wand and you are going to work. And as you're going to work, you're going to be seeing that things are starting to improve for you. There is progress that is here. Some of you, this is connected to money. Some of you, this is connected to the joy. You are just loving doing what you're doing so much so that it doesn't feel like work. And I really like the energies of the Eight of Pentacles because this is the apprentice type of energy. So the Divine is saying that, yes, you're on a journey. As you're on a journey, you're refining yourself. As you're on a journey, you are learning, you are growing. And as you're on this journey, the Divine is saying, do everything with excellence because the excellence that you're bringing to the table, this is what's going to give you the victory that we already spoke about. Not only that, this is what's going to give you also the upgrade that is being gifted to you from the energies of the King of Swords. So we're now seeing you here as the King of Swords. Not only do you have mental clarity, you're able to take the action that you need to take. And you're able to take this action because you already thought about the plan and the swords operate on the mental plane. So mentally, you are in a good place. Mentally, you are in a place where you're able to sit down, evaluate, where you're able to bring in the wisdom of the divine, where you're going to be finding yourself maybe sometimes at a crossroad, but you are understanding what it is that you need to do. So the excellence that you have here is going to be seeing you sitting on your throne, is going to be seeing you going places, is going to be seeing you utilizing this energy of luck being on your side. And the divine is saying to you that it is really important for you to understand this reading because you are closing off this reading with the energies of the seven of swords. The seven of swords, the divine is saying to you, for some of you, you already know what you need to do. For some of you, there are dreams, there are hopes that are just not being utilized. Then this is you now stepping into the energies of the Seven of Swords, where you are actively stealing from yourself your future that you deserve, the future that you've been praying for, because the Divine is saying to you that it is good to pray. It is good to do your manifestation ceremonies, but at the same time, you must be brave and you must take the action. You must be brave and you must have that mental clarity about the journey that you're going on because the mental clarity leads to success, leads to victory. And because you are able to understand that things take time, you don't step in the energy of feeling disappointed when things don't happen just like that overnight. You understand that this is a journey of growth. This is a journey of self-understanding. This is a journey of connection to your spirituality, to who you are meant to be. And because of that, things unfold slowly because you're building a solid and firm foundation. And because you're now understanding that when things just happen really quickly, this is how you lose that money. This is how you just lose whatever came into your life really quickly. Why is this? Because you didn't have the mental capabilities. You didn't have the know-how to look after whatever it is that was gifted to you just like that. So the divine is saying for you, you're building the solid firm foundations. Why? Because you had the energies of our warrior that is here, that goes out to war, comes back being celebrated. And you had the same energy as the major arcana card. You're understanding that the victory that is brought about from the energies of the chariot is victorious because the chariot has the know-how. The chariot goes out to battle with a plan the chariot is able to strategize and the chariot is able to take action. And because of this, you are now understanding that the action that you take is going to be leading to the victory that is going to be coming into your life. The victory that is on the table that is waiting for you. So the divine is saying, don't let fear, okay, stop you. Don't let your mind trick you to thinking that you are not enough, that you cannot accomplish Whatever it is that you're setting yourself to accomplish, you can do this. So don't let your mind be that, that, um, that thing that leads your downfall because that small voice just starts eating away at your strength, at your self-belief. And you start believing that small little voice and then you never go on the journey. You just sit there daydreaming. You just sit there wishing you just sit there hoping that things just will magically happen. But the divine is saying it's going to be different for you. You're understanding that this success and this victory is connected to building a solid foundation slowly, 
but surely over time. And now you're enjoying the victory that is coming here. Year after year, month after month, there is victory. You are seeing yourself like climbing that ladder slowly, slowly, slowly until you get all the way up to the top of the mountain. So beloved, this is the message that the divine wanted to give to you. It is time for you to step up. There's a magic wand that is waiting for you. But at the same time, you're understanding that everything that just doesn't happen by magic. You're going on a journey where there's synchronicities, where there's magical moments, but it is a journey nonetheless. And the journey is going to be building you. The journey is going to be making you stronger so that when you're sitting on your throne, you not only have the throne, the money, but you also have the wisdom about how to run and look after your castle, how to run and look after the money, the wealth that you have garnered along the way. So this is the message that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And remember, on the 3rd of July, we are coming together and we're doing our candle magic ceremony. So again, if you're wanting to be part of that, go to my website, reserve your space and remember to write your petition. On my website, there are the services that I do, like banishing ceremonies, removing bad luck, cleansing ceremonies. There's a lot that is there. So go and have a look around and see what else is there that might just pique your curiosity. Okay, so I'm going to see you very soon and it is a goodbye from me.